what you heard about me. Put up this man, get a dollar out of me. No Cadillac, no perms, you can't see. Then I'm a motherfucking VIP. Karul here, your Russian friend, bringing you another review. This time it's on Bulgari Man. I have a decant sent to me by John. Um, thanks, buddy. You're hooking it up. So, the smell. What this fragrance smells like. Uh, when this one opens up, you get a lot of citrus, sharp citrus, bergamot, and violets. Uh, that's basically the top notes. Uh, violet citrus combination with woods linking in the back, ready to come out. And then you have lotus. Over here, it's like you have bergamot and violets, predominantly. On the bottom, you have some woods. And then over the top, guarding the whole thing, you have lotus. Uh, just giving you the floral interesting twist to it it's gonna kind of last through the whole thing giving a little bit of a sweeter floral type of feel um, then uh, the bergamot goes away really quickly the citrus lasts for about 20 minutes and then the woods come out and you get the the um, woody violet strong woody violet smell uh, and uh, with the floral the kind of sweet but not really a little bit of sweetness a lot of woods and violets that's the prominent like if you like woods and violets this is what this fragrance is all about uh, and then it dries down to just generic blah there's you can pick up some like honey musky amber but it's not strong it's just kind of really close to your skin and they dry down nothing special so it's basically violets and woods uh, with florals kind of keeping it and then you have also kind of earthy notes there, uh, giving a little bit of an earthy vibe with the woods and the violets. That's just the smell. Uh, longevity. Uh, this fragrance is has whatever longevity on my skin. I get seven to eight hours, right in that range. And my skin normally gets pretty good longevity, so this one doesn't tell me too much about it. Now, projection. At first, it does its job. Uh, and does its thing. People can smell me. Uh, I even had a girl tell me I had a strong smell of cologne, so she could really pick it up. Um, so projection for the first, I want to say three, four hours is good, solid. And then at the last three, four hours, it's closer to the skin, not very good. Uh, versatility. This is a very versatile scent. Ultimate versatile. Uh, any any season you can wear it. Basically one of the most versatile I've ever, I've ever tried. Uh, age, any age as well, very versatile, anybody can wear it. Uh, if you're 17, 18, you know, you're in high school, you may not like the scent because the woods and violets may not be your thing. You may like citrus fresh scents more. And the girls that age love citrus scents more. But you can definitely pull this one off. Old man can pull it off, anybody can pull it off. Perfect setting, imagine this. You're in the park, there's woods growing everywhere, there's trees uh, in the park, the violets all over the place. There's a pond, you're sitting on a bench ne next to a pond. There's lotus flowers inside the pond. And then you have two bergamot trees growing on each side of the bench. Season. Uh, season, any season basically, but predominantly spring and fall for this one. Uh, why hate, why love? Uh, if this one may be too boring for you, it is just whatever woods and violets. Not done well. I want to say it's not done very well. Lotus in this one, it kind of push you off the, 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 with the floral type of thing going on in there. Uh, there's a lot of things you may not like about this one. I don't know. It's just kind of boring. That's what you might, you're not going to love the scent. Unless you love violets. If you love violets, like if you're in love with violets, you might really enjoy this one, but there's other violet scents out there that are much better, so I don't think you're missing out. Uh, the shiny part. The shiny part of this fragrance is after the first 20 minutes to about an hour, um, when the final touches of citrus are gone, when the bergamot is not a big player in this one anymore, and it's just violets and woods with the lotus, uh, keeping it all safe and sound. Uh, that's the best part of this one. The woods and a violet combination. In the in the heart. And the dry down is blah. It's whatever. Um, opponent cologne. 
perfect opponent cologne for this one. I don't own anything that resembles this this type of smell, the vibe you get. But if you like Gucci by Gucci, give this one a try. It's very it's very similar. I could see people who love Gucci by Gucci who are big fans of that one being a, a fans of this one as well. Um, I like the smell actually a little bit better than Gucci by Gucci. Would I buy this? No, I would not buy this. Bo too boring, too generic, not worth the money at all for me. At all. Rating. So, only decant. I did not get a good feel for this one just because I didn't find it interesting enough to do more research and to smell it out more. Uh, I got a general idea of this one. Uh, so, the smell 2.5. It is not bad, um, but it's not delicious. It's just boring, safe, you know, good smell for a man who just wants to wear something, but, you know, it's not chasing something specific. It's just kind of woody, violet, generic type of scent, manly smell for every day. Um, so 2.5, not bad because it, it gives you transitions. You uh, get all kinds of things coming in and out but it's not it's not amazing I'm not wild by it 2.5 out of 4 seems solid same thing I give Gucci by Gucci the same score but I like the smell a little bit better uh, longevity uh, 7 to 8 hours as I said I'm gonna give it a mm, I don't know I wanna give it a 1 point deduction but uh, yeah I'm gonna give it a 1 point deduction uh, half a point I could but 1 point it seems it, it doesn't impress me with longevity and my skin is good, so you might get really bad longevity with this one. Just a warning. I say seven, eight hours. Fragrance is last on me, so for you, maybe me, it may be closer to four, five, six hours. Uh, projection. I said solid, and then it is down half a point of a projection. It does its thing, doesn't do it amazingly. Uh, versatility, no deductions. It's very versatile, incredibly weird anywhere. Yep, that's it. So. Uh, 1.5 point deduction for for uh, smell then you we have one point deduction for versus for uh, longevity half a point for projection and then no deductions for versatility so overall this fragrance is gonna get seven out of ten it's a little bit better than Gucci by Gucci but I'm still not a fanboy of this type of these types of scents. There's a lot better uh, violet wood smells out there. For example, D Square does with the He Wood and the um, Rocky Mountain Wood. They blow these two those two out of the water. Those are amazing. If you if you like this one, go check out uh, the D Square line. Those are some amazing scents. Violet and woods done right out there. Not over here. So, not impressed. It gets 7 out of 10 from me. Should have been 6.5, but I spare with the smell. I don't know. I don't want to kill this one too much. Bulgaria really tried on their packaging and presentation, but not impressed. That's it. Bulgaria man. Don't even bother with it unless you love violets and woods. I very much love it. You know, this one is not done too well. Just go with the D squared, in my opinion. That's it. See ya. She like my style, she like my smile, she like the way I talk. She from the country, then she like me cause I'm from New York. I ain't that nigga tryna holler cause I want some head. I'm that nigga tryna holler cause I want some bread. 